Hello, kindergartners. Welcome to another math lesson with Mrs. Martin. Now, we are going to talk about counting on today. That is a math strategy that you do in your brain, okay? Now, let's just review really quick our teen numbers. We did do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now I want to review the numbers starting at 17. And the poem for 17 is, 17 is easy to trace. A one and a seven now make a face. All right, so we are going to, will you sky write with me when I show you on my screen? It is a one and then a seven, okay? Good. Now, let's look at the number 18. The poem for number 18 is, 18 is a number that looks just great. Make a one and then an eight. All right. Again, will you sky write with me as I show you on my screen? Straight line down. And then make your eight, make the letter S, and then curve back around and connect there. Good. All right, now let's look at the number 19. The poem says, 19 makes me feel just fine. All you need is a one and a nine. All right, sky right with me. Straight line down for your number one and then make a circle, and then a line. Good. All right. One more number I want to talk about is the number 20. And 20 is not a teen number. 20 begins the 20s, all of the 20s. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. And we'll be learning about that soon, okay? The poem for the number 20 is, the number 20 is a two and a zero. When you're all down, stand up like a hero. All right, let's make this. Sometimes I see kids, they put the zero first. But in the 20s, all of the numbers start with a two. So you sky write with me as I do it on the screen. Here is your two, so you curve back and then make your line back. So curve down and then back. Curve down and then back. And then you're gonna make your zero, which is a circle. All right, so a 20 is a two and then a zero. All right, so boys and girls, when we count on In the teen numbers, we can start counting on from 10. Now remember, to help us better understand, let's build one of the teen numbers using the 10 frame. Remember, we know that this is 10 when it is all filled in. We don't have to count to 10. We can start with 10 and then count on. So watch me. 10, 11, 12. So boys and girls, I use my brain and use the math strategy of counting on. I don't have to go and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, because I already know there's 10 there. So I start from 10, and I'm going to count on 11, 12. So this is showing 12. Let's do another one. I have a 10 frame that is filled in, so I know there is 10. Then I'm going to count on the rest of these counters on the next 10 frame. So count with me. We say 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And boys and girls, it's just easier to count that way and it's faster. We can count faster then, okay? All right. Now, let's try this. What number is one group of 10 and five more? Can you figure it out? One group of 10 and five more. That's right, it's 15. Now let's practice counting on. I know this is a 10, so I'm going to put 10 in my head and then I'm going to count on. Say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If you said 15, you are correct. All right, let's try another one. What number is one group of 10 and three more? That's right, it is 13. Let's practice counting on together again. I know this is a 10. I don't have to count it because it's filled in. So I know it is 10. So I'm going to put 10 in my head and then count on. Remember, this is a math strategy you can do in your brain. So say 10 with me, 10, 11, 12, 13. Very good. Boys and girls, you just counting on. That is a math strategy. All right, one more. What number is one group of 10 and four more? That's right, 14. 14 is one group of 10 and four more. All right, so will you help me count on? Say 10 in your head, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good job. Now I want you to practice this on your seesaw activity. Practice counting on. All right, I will see you soon, mathematicians.